Well, New York State's Enough is Enough law requires all colleges and universities to collect data on all sexual assault and other associated crimes as defined by the state. This spring, SUNY Buffalo State had the fifth highest number of reports in the state. We sent Dave McKinley to the Elmwood Avenue campus to get some answers. Buffalo State College had the fifth highest number of reported total incidents. Mm -hmm. People could read that and take it a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. How should they? They should take it as such that we've done a great job of informing the campus community about enough is enough and about Title IX. And so we've created an environment where folks feel comfortable bringing forth complaints. But with every college under the same mandate, that might not explain the higher numbers here. You say it's mostly because you created an environment where people are encouraged to report these mm -hmm, things correct. and not because there's just a lot more bad stuff going on? Well, there? I think we also understand that um, sexual assault, dating violence are typically complaints that go unnoticed. And so I think it's also safe to say that there is a huge number of underreporting going on. It's important to note that reportable incidents aren't just sexual assaults. They also include stalking, domestic or dating violence. And the state's data does not break down how many of each were reported per campus. Can you shed any light on that? Sure. So in the spring semester, I think it's important to note that we had five sexual assaults. But she also notes about half of Buff State's 46 reported incidents occurred off campus. There's other factors which could contribute to higher numbers here. First, Buff State is a rather large school with nearly 10,000 students. And another, this ain't Potsdam. No, we're the only SUNY institution in an urban setting. An open campus through which anyone can pass, as evident by a recent spate of armed robberies in the dorms, which police say were committed by outsiders. Part of our role is not only administrators, but as parents, is to safeguard the interests of our students. One of whom, until she graduated, was her own daughter. You know, if I did not believe SUNY Buffalo State was a safe campus, I wouldn't have encouraged her to come here. We might also note that UB, Genesee Community College, and Fredonia were among the top 50 on that list. And we also have to note that this data reflects only a snapshot in time. So the numbers could be totally different during the next reporting period. For example, guys, when we spoke uh, with Dr. Jones today, uh, she noted that there were actually some complaints filed last year mm -hmm. which involved incidents mm -hmm. which had, occur had occurred several years before. Okay. But because of the state reporting requirements, they had to be included in the data submitted to the state for last year. So if people want to find out more about this data, where should they turn? Yeah, it's a lot of data, Scott, to crunch, but we're going to have a link to the most recent data available when you look for this story on our website, WGRZ.com. Interesting. I did not know, I didn't think about it, that it's the only one in an urban setting also. Right. Yeah, it, it is. Yeah. It's not out, it's not surrounded by fields mm -hmm. or a small town or something. And it's, it's an open campus. You know, anyone can pass through, and people often do. We were told that when I went there 30 years ago. Yeah. 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 Dave right, McKinley Dave. tonight. Dave, Dave thank, thank you. you.